This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. We are now at a point where we can assign our materials. I have a free Blender startup file you can use in your own projects. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Also check the info tab, I did a whole video about the startup level. If you don't use the startup level, you'll need to make these materials from scratch, and you want to name them exactly how they're named in this video. That way, when you import them into Unreal, the materials are automatically populated. The materials that show up in Blender are just placeholders, so if you think the colors look funny, don't sweat it. They're just placeholders in Blender so you can tell them apart. They'll be replaced with procedural materials when we import our bodies into Unreal. I'm going to start by adding a material and assigning the paint material to it. Now the whole car is red. Now in face select mode, which is 3 on your keyboard, I'll select all the faces that make up the windshield. Now I'll add another material, select the windows material, and assign the material to the selected faces. I'll repeat the process for the rest of the glass. I'm making sure I get every last face, especially these small, harder to see ones. With the faces now selected, I want to select half of the faces inside the seam. So to do that, I'll press Ctrl plus on the numpad, and that will select the next adjacent faces. Likewise, you can use Ctrl minus on the numpad to deselect the most outside selected faces. Now I'll assign them to the windows material. I've decided I actually want this inner seam to be trim colored, so I'll deselect the inside glass. Now I'll add another material, set it to the window trim, and assign the faces to it. While I'm here, I'll take care of the molding around the side glass and assign that to the window trim material. I'll also do the front window. If you're wondering how I'm making this kind of selection, I'm in face select mode and I'm hovering the mouse between two faces in the direction I want the selection to run, then it's simply alt left click to select. Oops. I got a face selected in here, the wrong material. Let's select it and assign it to the windows material. Now I'll do the rear glass. And now the little trim bit around the rear glass seam. Now let's do the rear bumper. To select it, I'm going to select the seam between the bumper and the rest of the car, and I'll press H to hide it. Missed a spot. I need to do that over here as well. Now I'll hover over the bumper and press L to select the separated element. Then Alt-H to unhide the middle of the seam. Now I'll add the rear bumper material and assign the selection to it. I'll do the same steps for the front bumper. I'll select the middle of the seam and press H to hide it. Then I'll hover over the bumper and press L, then Alt-H to unhide. I'll add the front bumper material and assign. Now I'll select the seam around the hood. H to hide, L to select the loose element, Alt H to unhide the seam, and add the bonnet material and assign it. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time!